I'm wondering whether they can see all the graphics on some of these, because normally we used to fill the screen with that, didn't we? It was always a lot closer. I shall move it forward. Well, no, well, not now, but I'm just, I'm just wondering. Yeah. yeah. It'll do for now. I just want to get it. I think if they're putting it on full screen, though, the video, then... Because if you look, half of the screen is the wall. Mm. Oh, we'll risk it. Are we, are we going? Yep, we're oh. <laughs> Hello, and welcome to another uh, 5 Minutes Level 3 video. In this session, we're talking about coating binders. We're only going to talk about uh, three of the main binders, really. A binder is the uh, coating terminology for the glue that holds all the pigment particles together and sticks everything onto the surface of the sheet. So, we've got starch as a cheap natural binder used for uh, sort of low quality, low end of the market. There's latex, which is a sort of man made rubbery material ultimately derived from oil that's used in high quality coatings. And there's casein, very rarely used, but the best of all binders that ever was. So we talked a little bit about starch. Why do we use starch? It's natural. It's cheap. It does have low binding power, so we have to use quite a lot of it. Uh, it's water sensitive, so we can't use it in... Uh, a lot of coating applications, things that maybe boards that go into freezers and food packages and stuff like that. Um, so it tends to be used for low quality coatings. Latex, as I mentioned in the introduction, latex is, is a rubber, it's a man-made rubber that ultimately is derived from oil. And there's a whole variety of, it's a polymer and it comes from a whole variety of different types of monomers. Um, Styrene butadiene or SBR, styrene butadiene rubber, is by far the most common latex that's used in the world. It's used in emulsion paints, it's used in um, most coatings for magazines. That's why the magazine has a, a painty smell to them if you get a brand new magazine. Um, because it has this odour associated with it, then it's not really suitable for food packaging. There are styrene acrylate polymers, obviously polymer of styrene and acrylic acid. And there is EVA, uh, ethyl vinyl acetate latexes. So different types of latexes for different applications. The good thing about latex is they all have quite a really good binding power. The negative side is of course, they're actually expensive. Uh, and these are used in, in high quality coatings. And there's no reason why you can't use a mix. People do use a mixture of both. So you can have some coatings that have a mixture of starch and latex. Casein, interesting product casein. It's a byproduct from the dairy industry. When they take in whole milk and they make other things from it, then casein is a byproduct. Because it's a byproduct, there's not all the quality control there with it. So Although it's the absolute best for binding power, far, far superior to starch, better than latex, the problem is it's variable quality and variable availability. It depends what milk products they're making as to whether there's any casein rejected from that process. Um, so the quality is very variable, the availability is very variable, and therefore the price is very volatile. The main use of casein was in cast coatings. With normal coatings, you put the coating colour on the web and you dry it by a non-contacting method. With cast coatings, you put the coating on the web and then you slap the wet coating on the surface of a very highly polished cylinder and when it comes off the other side, it's completely dry. And that produces the most superior gloss that there has ever been. Um, but it's incredibly slow and therefore very expensive process. So a summary of binders. We use starch because it's cheap for cheap coatings. We use latex, quite expensive for high quality, high end of the market coatings. You can use mixtures of starch and latex. And this is what people tend to do in cases of uh, when oil prices go up, latex prices go up people see if they can replace some latex with some starch. And final point, 
Casein is by far the best binder, but very, very limited use because it's too variable. Well, thank you for listening to this video and uh, please feel free to follow us on any of this social media.